Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we have an interesting encounter. You may have noticed there's a Des Moines on our team. And what's his name? It's none other than Seven Hipper. And he just happens to spawn right next to us. So we're going to see if we can't take the Mino out. Yeah, I know, right? You guys got the Alaska yesterday. Today you got the Mino. You guys are probably all kinds of excited. What's next? The Worcester? Who knows? Uh, but no, we're going to take out the Mino. I don't run the Mino very often because I tend to be solo. And honestly, if we're honest, Mino, not the greatest for being solo because you require the help from teammates because it's kind of squishy, like really squishy. But, with that being said, it's not that the Mino is a bad ship. In fact, it's pretty nasty. Uh, it's AP only, if you guys didn't know. Just like the uh, British light cruisers, the Edinburgh and so on. They're all AP only. So you have to know where you need to shoot. But, uh, if you get anybody's broadside, the DPM that you put out with AP in this ship is disgusting. It's devastating. It is unrelenting. And all you can do as a battleship captain is hopelessly watch your HP disappear if you accidentally give a broadside to a Mino. And then, did I mention that this thing has 16 torpedoes, I think? I think it's four, quint or four quadruple launchers. I could be wrong. It's been a while. I apologize if I'm wrong. But it's got a lot of torpedoes. It's got at least six on either side of the ship, and I think it's actually got eight on either side of the ship. So I think it's got more torpedoes than, than the uh, Shima. But that's not all, folks. Watch as we take the flank. Now, me and Hipper are not in a division. We, we weren't talking. You can see I don't even have my, my uh, voice chat on. So we're not talking. But we, we trust each other enough that we actually rely on each other to get crossfires here. And this poor gross occur first... He's going to be the first one to find out what it's like to be on the receiving end of the DPM of a heavy cruiser that is ridiculous, like the Des Moines, and the DPM of a Mino that's stupid. And, uh, yeah, he immediately makes a turn, goes full broadside to Hipper and the battleship over there, and we are just raking his superstructure. 570 damage with every shell that hits. Like, it's just, look at his health disappearing. Remember, this guy gets 100,000 hit points or more if he builds it the correct way. Uh, and let's be real, he was not expecting to lose half his hit points already. We're only one minute and 15 seconds into the match and he's lost half his health. Not to battleships, but to two cruisers. <laughs> one with HE spam and one with AP spam. And honestly, he can't decide which is worse. He's like, man, if I go broadside to the Des Moines, it hurts a lot. Man, if I go broadside to this, you can see I'm trying to get the shells down. And this is just my inexperience with the ship. Now, I smoke up here because I'm afraid that this gross of first was going to shoot me with that plane in the air. So, that's why I smoked up. A little bit of a panic smoke, not going to lie. I don't want to get depth struck, okay? I'm notorious for getting depth struck in the Mino. Like, I don't want it to happen. But uh, we have taken literally everything off of this Gross of Kerfers already. We're three minutes into the match now, and uh, this guy's dead. He's done. There's nothing he can do. He's burning. I'm getting shots into his superstructure still. Uh, he does go dark here, so you're going to see me push up. And I'm cautiously pieing the corner here. And you can see I'm thinking about taking a shot, but he disappears again because every time we go to shoot him, he just pops in and out of existence. And then I have to just commit. Turpits goes down, or not turpits, but Kerfers goes down to our turpits, which is great. And that's where we see the destroyer. And I'm going to go whole ham into flanking this destroyer for obvious reasons. Now, this destroyer couldn't have put himself in a worse possible position if he wanted to. He is literally trapped between a Mino and a Des Moines. And there's a destroyer there. So as you can see, he's got a long, long way back to port. <laughs> so uh, you can see he's got torpedoes coming after him. We take a shot over the island completely blind. Uh, we miss him initially because he slams on his brakes, but you know, you can only do this for so long. One good salvo is all it takes to finish him off and he's down. So they've lost the destroyer already. Now, here's where I make a crucial, crucial mistake, okay? 
I anticipated getting into a fight with this Mino. I anticipated this Vladdy staying there broadside to me. And remember, I've already panic smoked, so I don't have a smoke for quite a while. Okay? And uh, so, yeah, we're about to show the, the DPM on the broadside of this Vladdy and just how quickly it gets the battleship's attention to start turning towards us. Now, obviously, with the, the Mino out there, we, we've got to be careful. We've got to stay bow under the Mino because if we turn broadside to him, he'll quickly citadel us and kill us. Uh, and obviously, if we screw this up with this battleship, he's going to death strike it, most likely. So we've got to be very, very careful. And you can see, here comes the first shot. And he, I'm slowing down. I'm trying to turn in. I'm trying to take as little as possible. But he manages to get a couple pins. Not too bad. We survive for now. And then we immediately go back to punching him with the AP. Now, obviously, this is going to make him turn. Now, here's where I get into trouble, guys. This is one of my biggest weaknesses of my game in this World of Warships Legends. Is I... I get tunnel vision occasionally, and I don't pay attention to what the rest of my team is doing. Now you can see that uh, I believe Hipper is, is shooting the Vladdy right now from the back left corner of Charlie. I have a destroyer here, and you can see we take a nasty hit from the Vladdy, but amazing super heal from the Meno, and we get to pull that back. Now I rush my torpedoes here. There's no reason that I should have rushed this torpedo train. And there you can see it is eight torpedoes per side of the ship. Uh, but we rush the torpedoes. He knows I just torped because I stopped shooting him. So he immediately turns in. And then on top of that, because of that, our, crew, or our destroyer misses all of his torpedoes. Now this Mino makes a crucial mistake here. He thought that I was not going to notice him here. Uh, and he's wrong. He's dead wrong because we're going to show just how quickly a Mino's health disappears on the receiving end of another Mino. And uh, we punch him for nine Citadels real, real quick. And he loses all of his hit points. And remember, Citadel damage, you can only heal back like a third of that, but with a super heal, you get a little bit more. And then we get radar, because of course it's a radar Mino. And I'm in trouble. I had counted on this Laddie not being able to shoot us, and I was going to be able to hide in my smoke. And unfortunately, that's not what happens. Now, Mino does pull out. We get another good two Citadels on him. We get another shot in the air. But uh, we're also within uh, range of the Vladdy to see us because of our smoke firing penalty. And we are dead at this point. There's nothing we can do. We're just hoping that he misses. And at this point, you can see I'm checking for my teammates. My Turpits is still right there on the other side of the island. I'm trying to hope that I disappear, but I just can't disappear. And I, get, God, I just want to disappear. But of course, he gets his shot away just as we disappear and he finishes us off. But for, you know, what it was, it was a very aggressive push in a Mino. Uh, didn't quite work out in my favor, but uh, the game is still not over. Turpitz is going to be able to do what, you know, Turpitz is do, which is rush a battleship and torque the crap out of it. He gets the torps away and that's going to be a death strike and down goes the Vladdy. Now, he didn't need to actually torp him there. He could have just held his fire and got his guns on the broadside of that Vladdy and killed him. Uh, either way, the Vladdy was going to die there. But, with our destroyer still alive, our turpits still full health, uh, and then, of course, we have Hipper over there, and there's another cruiser there that I'm not sure what it was, but we have Hipper over there in the Des Moines. So, with all of this, and our fact that our guys are right here to grab the third base... Uh, we should be able to win this match pretty easily. Like, this shouldn't be that difficult. We got a lot of DPM, we got a sneaky boy, we got a, a tanky battleship with torpedoes that can easily rush, and it's a Balti. So we have a, we have a Balti, we have a uh, Des Moines, we have a Shima, and a Turpins. Like, this Iowa is done. There's nothing he can do about this. Between the DPM of the two uh, American heavy cruisers and then the fact that he's being rushed by a Turpins, there's nothing this guy can do about this. So he's going to try to turn away, which is actually the perfect play to make when you're being rushed by a, a Turpitz or any torpedo battleship, because you're going to be able to basically keep them from torping you. Uh, he's inside range right now for the torpedoes, but turning or like when you're heading away, you're lengthening the amount of time it takes for those torpedoes to catch up to you, which makes them A, easier to dodge, and B, uh, you don't turn broadside in front of a Des Moines, a Balti, and a Turpitz at close range. Like, Obviously, Des Moines and, and Balti are long range, but uh, our Shima, it's questionable. <laughs> but he does manage to get a couple of these torpedoes through, and I think that catches this Iowa off guard. 
But uh, also, I mean, Turpin should easily be able to kill him if he gets loaded. And uh, he gets a good shot into him, but unfortunately does not finish off the Iowa and the Shima's torpedoes catch him. Now, there's still a cruiser out here. There's still a destroyer. Destroyer's obviously an alpha. And so, uh, Hipper's going to be able to come out of Charlie. Bow tanking, I believe it's an Alaska. I keep forgetting to look, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but Turpitz is in trouble. He's got 18,000 hit points. It is in Alaska. And he's got 18,000 hit points. He's charging in Alaska, which, let's be real, Alaska is nasty, as we showcased yesterday. Uh, even against battleships, like it has no trouble just dominating. Now, this Alaska is getting fire RNG like nobody's business. Uh, but Turpitz, tank build, able to get those, uh, those damage cons in relatively quickly. He gets rid of the fires, and he takes a shot at the Alaska. Now, he doesn't manage to do any damage to the Alaska there. All the damage that we've been seeing has been from Hipper or the Balti. And so, uh, Alaska continuing to try to, like, stay bow into the Hipper, or to the Turpits. I keep saying Hipper. Uh, but trying to stay bow into the Turpits. And, I mean, honestly, with the two cruisers, they could easily just DPM one with AG. Like, that's all they need to do. The Alaska can't do anything about it. He has to get rid of those cruisers if he wants to have a chance. And with the Turpits continuously closing in, it's only a matter of time before the Turpits gets in with, within torpedo range. He comes around the corner, gets immediately set on fire again, takes a shot with the front guns, and he does no damage. Again, big surprise. German battleships, you gotta love them. <laughs> you gotta love them, man. But uh, again, it's just a matter of time. It, this Alaska can't reverse faster than the battleship can close. So the battleship is going to be able to close. And uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, the Summers decided that it was going to come over here and try to attack the, the uh, Turpits and made a huge misplay getting in between a Balti and a Des Moines. And Hipper gets to just shred this man's HP. Like, goodbye. Uh, you can see Balti landing good hits as well. And possibly even Ashima taking a shot at him, I'm not sure. But between Balti and Des Moines, you got no chance in a destroyer. And with the Des Moines long duration radar, like, you really have no chance. That's 40 seconds with 9.9 .9 kilometer range and guns that reload every 4 seconds or less. Uh, it's no, it's no good. So, if you get yourself caught in that position in a destroyer, you're pretty much done. You can try to dodge, but uh, especially in his situation where he was up against the island. Wasn't a whole lot he could do about it. Now, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. It's, it's one of those matches where I didn't do the most damage, but th certain things happened during the match that I, I think are teaching points, like me getting myself pinched in between the Mino and the Vladdy, uh, Vladdy going bow in, and then us getting stuck with no smoke because I panic smoked. There's a lot of teaching moments where I made mistakes that could have uh, kept me alive later in the match if I hadn't made them, um, and we would have had a much better day. But Alaska is getting shredded, obviously, with Hipper getting uh, AP in there at the end, you can see. Uh, make sure you go check him out. He's going to be posting his video on this as well. I'll leave a link down in the description to his channel. Make sure you check him out and uh, see what he had to say for this replay. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.